Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Oracle 3.5 inch HDD external enclosure which connects, which I mean, this is a DAS, not the NAS. DAS stands for direct attached storage, just like every single USB, well, portable drive or backup drives, desktop drives. So here it connects through a single USB free type B connector and it's powers through uh, DC 12 volt uh, wall adapter and it has supports RAID of course this is why I would buy it it supports RAID 0, 1 or 10, 3, 5 combined and clear RAID I believe clear RAID is JBOD which stands for just a bunch of discs anyway um, after you configure your RAID uh, properly you should properly s uh, press SAT for about 3 seconds and the lights um, should blink if you connected it to a power. Yeah. So here on the back you'll find a hundred millimeter, one hundred millimeter uh, um, circle fan. I measured that before. Um, speaking of that, this is a five bay enclosure. This is the fifty eight Oracle fifty eight uh, ninety five fifty eight U three. Excuse me. Uh, Compared to the 9548U3, this has five bays instead of four bays on the 48. So, um, this features toolless installation. Just open that and put that in. So, uh, this has a key lock, which is a pretty great function. Uh, it includes a key right here, and you probably just put them in there. Anti-clockwise, turn anti-clockwise, and you can pull all the drive simply by lifting the tab here. And when you push it, the drive to shall slide up on its own. We will be using Seagate three terabyte desktop HDDs. I have three of them in there in this enclosure, and we have configured them in RAID five. So locking is simple. Turn them anti-clockwise, and you're done. It's that simple. So um. On the right hand side, uh, left hand side, excuse me, uh, you'll find drive, well, status indicator lights right here. They can be displayed in blue, uh, magenta, and red. So blue means idle, um, uh, magenta means, well, your drive is being accessed by your system, and red, complete red, means a drive fail or something has happened, some errors are happening with your drives. So this is pretty damn cool. So, um, yeah, drive blocks. And here is some air vents and to let air intake as here's the exhaust. So, yeah, um, the reason that I bought this is that, well, first of all, it's cheap. It's a, well, sensible and affordable backup solution for an enclosure. This enclosure is $1,500. Hong Kong dollars, which is around 200 US, which is pretty damn cool compared to the Drobo or, well, Synology, whatever else. Uh, this is a lot cheaper than Drobo and faster than Synology NAS uh, because, well, a gigabit is only 125 megabytes. This is faster, but one thing to keep in mind is that it does not take full advantage of the speeds in each drive. It only, well, takes advantage of about half of the drives, which is disappointing. Um, I run them three, three terabyte drives in RAID 5. That gave us about uh, 210 megabytes per second writes. Um, but, uh, well, some of you may say parity calculation due to that. But uh, even we configure them RAID 0, we are only Achieving the speeds of each, uh, well, the entire array of uh, 250 megabytes per second. So this is definitely a bottleneck. So um, this supports uh, up to four terabyte drives each. So if you configure them RAID zero, on the RAID zero that could be well 20 terabytes of fast storage. So this is my backup storage. I had a backup plus right here, but by Seagate. But now it's really filling up, um, it's only, well, 14 terabyte, excuse me, gigabytes left on that drive. So, uh, without further say, um, let's take a look at the body itself. So, it has rubber sands on the bottom, um, and, well, 
it has USB port, uh, Type B, uh, fan, 100mm fan, RAID, control, uh, RAID setup controller, uh, Oracle side, and well, let's jump into the system. I mean, plug this into the wall, connect it to my system right now, and do a copy test. So guys, we're back with the copy test right now. So uh, I have prepared a 6.8 gigabyte, almost 6.8 gigabytes video, which is our POTS choosing video. Um, and so I'm gonna copy that from my internal array, RAID 0, um, to my RAID 5. Uh, so this is definitely not a bottleneck because my internal drives are capable of reading 380 something megabytes per second. Okay guys, so now let's start to copy test in three, two, one, go. So it starts at uh, 653 uh, in 30 seconds p.m. So we are achieving the speeds of about 180 to about 190. So it is about sustained, 180 megabytes per second. Yeah, here we go. 190. So uh, that took about uh, 40 seconds to copy. Now is uh, 6.54 p.m., uh, 10 seconds before um, we just finished the copy. So, well, that's it. Guys, we decided for even more benchmark, we would like to run crystal disk mark of two times a gigabyte. So guys, uh, we have finished testing. So this got 207.8 uh, megabytes per second reads, sequential reads, and 172 megabytes per second sequential writes. So this differs a little bit from our real-time tests. So continuing our review, uh, we um, the main point here is that its RAID manager, which is called Oracle RAID manager, is pretty cool. Um, it has basic mode and advanced mode, we will show you later. Um, I have no idea what this, this means. This is the logo, right? So, um, as you can see, I'm running a RAID 5 with 6 terabytes of, whoops, 6 terabytes of storage. Um, free disk, uh, as Seagate, well, Barracuda drives. And, um, here we go. We have clone, all that kind of stuff. And in advanced mode, you can even have email notification. Just set up your server name, server port, send an email, username, password, recipient email, or uh, you can tick this tick, or all cross uh, in order to prefer what you want to re um, receive. So, uh, rate right in broken mode. Um, rebuilding or uh, rain degrade mode that means one of your drives failed temperature is at normal voltage is at normal all that kind of good stuff and of course you can have multiple raid arrays which is cool up to two I think two yeah um, and update your firmware here raid settings uh, you can have to re oh this is pretty darn cool Raid rebuilt priority settings. So, uh, if the higher the raid rebuilt priority, the more quickly the raid rebuilds. So that means if one of the drives fail and you have to swap it out, it means that when you put a drive in, it will it'll instantly start rebuilding the, drive, uh, the array. So, pretty cool. Um, here, also enter a value between, well, Standby time of value, so it has been five minutes since my drive had done its job. So, um, here we go. Uh, you can set it up to, well, I don't know, um, between these two numbers. So, um, not, uh, you can delete your RAID right now. Select that and click apply. Well, of course I won't do that. Click cancel. That's still here. Create. No. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, that wraps up the video. So in conclusion, this uh, enclosure is pretty cool. 
uh, because it only costs about 200 US dollars and uh, supports RAID, 5 drives. Um, yes, uh, it may not be famous in the US, but um, let me tell you, this is um, pretty useful to me as a backup for me and affordable and sensible solution. Um, when you look at a Drobo, that's just about, well, 500 US dollars, which is bleh, so expensive. I mean, you can buy two of these, um, and you'll, well, at a private center of Drobo, you can even build yourself a server. A home server. So, well, yes. So here's it. So remember to subscribe to the channel for more computer videos. You can check the link in the description below to check out my past lists and benchmarking of my new video editing uh, in gaming computer, new well custom built, of course. And well, don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you next time. So bye.